All right, guys, a quick video on driving impressions of the BMW X5. This is the third generation. And let me just show you guys real quick. When you put it in sport, put your foot down, this vehicle takes off. So that's really all you need, but JK, okay. So this vehicle is very comfortable to drive. It's very luxurious. Um, the screen is 10.2 inches. I love the way that looks. You have a start and stop push button over here. The steering wheel three and nine o'clock feel very nice. Uh, you have the beautiful LED interior. Right now we have it set, in, set to blue. You can change that very easily by going into settings and lighting. Um, and then you can choose a light design and you have all these options. I'll show you what orange looks like as well. Uh, very attractive, very luxurious. Um, this vehicle has 300 horsepower. It's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. You get 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 on the highway, 21 combined. So, you know, if you're looking for fuel efficiency, this probably is not the vehicle you would go for. But if you're looking for a very fun driving SUV that feels like a sports car, the X5 really checks off a lot on the list. And you can see right there, we have the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, that as well as a very sporty SUV. Something like the MDX RX350, in my opinion, are not as sporty. Um, they feel a bit more cloudy. This feels very planted. It's very easy to overtake in this vehicle. And you can customize this SUV, SUV's driving modes to your liking, however you want it. Um, I really like the ride height you set up high. The seats are extremely comfortable. The, the materials in here are just gorgeous. Very, very, very luxurious. I love the wood grain trim in this one. Um, just a very pleasant, fun, exciting driving SUV. I love the X5. This is a personal vehicle. I love the X5. Clearly, I love it so much we own one. Um, my sister also owns one. And you know, so far, maintenance-wise, it hasn't been bad, knock on, knock on wood. But obviously, when you take this thing into the shop, uh, BMW, BMWs are high, high maintenance. However, you also have to realize that when you maintain your BMW, you're maintaining it for a year, right? If you go maintain your Toyota or Honda, it's probably gonna be for six months. So when you pay that high price up front, it's gonna last you a while. So, just something to keep in mind. I, I love the X5. It's fun, sporty, exciting.